it is Pat Sloan here. So today we have Summer Starlet, Summer Starlet, The Last Blocks. We have the library quilt, The Last Row, Last Shelf, Last Shelf, uh, and then a few other things. So first of all, the Summer Starlet's quilt is the cover quilt from the book that we've been sewing along using my porch swing fabric. You have loved these stars. They are so darn cool to make, very fun, very different. Uh, and hopefully you've been setting them as we go along. So let me just show you the blocks, the last two blocks. So we have the teal uh, and the paisley in my porch swing. So they are here on the second row. And then on the third row, they're separated. The paisley and the, oh no, they're together. It's paisley and the teal on the, on the bottom row. But that means we can sew all the rows together. We've already done, so you can just be, have been sewing and doing sashing because you have the whole pattern. So this is the top row, which you should have already had uh, sewn together. And then we could do the third row. So I've got my third row. Here we go. And then the rest of the rows were kind of the, the second and the fourth row were kind of in sections. So waiting for different parts because they're, they're um, switched around. They're not identical. It's not like we just took that row and went like this because that still gives you, um, in my mind, too much pattern. You still don't have it sort of random enough. Uh, so this is, this works really good to have that second and fourth row kind of random placement and not identical to the first and the third. So okay, you're going to make these blocks this week and then next week we will look at getting it all set. And I think on my version, now this quilt is a Fat Quarter Shops. Fat Quarter Shop made this quilt, you know, they, uh, we did have kits for it. Um, my porch swing fabric, uh, several of the pieces totally sold out and then they were reordered and those are coming in now. So for those of you waiting on like the background from my porch swing or any of the other pieces, they're now here being cut and shipped to stores again. So you can, you'll be able to get it soon. I just got one of mine that I was waiting on. <laughs> yes, yes, I ran out because I get a certain amount and I used it and I needed more and it was all gone. So there we go. We have tons tons of fun tons of fun with this one and i've loved all your versions they are so good now the other thing we have today so you want to stay till the end because i have a giveaway so that'll be at i'll show you here but you'll be entering at my website so we're going to talk let's talk about the uh, upcoming Christmas mystery quilt. It's like the Halloween quilt that we're doing now, but it's for five weeks instead of four weeks. And uh, it's going to start July 11th, as I believe what I wrote down. Yeah, I think it's July 11th uh, and it will go for five weeks. Now, there are, is a pre-order kit. So let me just show you a little sneak peek because it's a mystery, so you can't see the whole thing. But here's a little sneak peek. Well, you know how I love starting new things and I love mysteries, but I because I've had a sneak peek at the actual finished uh, diagram, it is so cute, so stinking cute. You're going to love it. So if you, if you uh, this is the picture of the corner of it and it's wall hanging size uh, about 31 by 35 something like that you can see it at the kit page when you click over to it it gives you the exact size number so if you need to measure or something uh, but that can be pre-ordered now the supply list if you're not going to buy the kit will be out uh, next week sometime so I will let you know as soon as I know <laughs> when it is there now the cross stitch portion of it, it's a free it's a free quilt along free cross stitch along you know stitch along and that this is all called evergreen did I say that so the mystery is called evergreen so the cross stitch one is available and so the fat quarter shop sent me some things here to show you you can get this supply list but you can also get like a um, you can get the thread they did did a little thread pack for it so there are the colors and I you know, I have not been good about the cross stitch lately because I've been working on a bunch of other things that it just, I mean, I haven't even stitched in like a week on cross stitch. So I have to reboot that for myself and finish the little one, but I'm digressing. I'm digressing because I want to do this one too. <laughs> I have a lot in progress. So there is the cloth they're using. You can see there's the cloth. And then there's some super cute. There's a, well, of course you got the red plaid bag, 
but there's a darling zipper pull, which these are so cute. You can put these like on any kind of a bag. I love putting them on these bags because I just find gripping the zipper is just more fun when there's a zipper pull. <laughs> it's also bigger so that if you have um, dexterity issues or problems with your hands, when you use a zipper pull, you have something larger to grab hold of. They also can just decorate your purse or your tote bag. Then there's also a needle minder. How sweet is that? And so I have a link to all of these at my website and in the description box under the video. So you can pick up your cross stitch stuff if you want. And that, it is so cute. Here, I'll let you see the sneak peek of that again. Look, 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 look. <gasps> so cute, so cute. Yeah, I need to show you where I, what I am. I need to stitch on the Halloween one just a little bit and then show you some progress. Maybe I'll do the pie first. I don't know. I am so out of control with the cross stitch. I love it, but I'm not sewing on it very much or stitching on it, whatever. So <laughs> I need to get back into that because, uh, yeah, sort of like the home projects of sort of, uh, the one, there's a little bit of a wind down for me here. So that's good. I can get to them. Okay. So that is coming up. Christmas mystery. Our Halloween mystery will end next week and then we'll have like a week break and then uh, or two week break, whatever it is, and then roll into, yeah, about a two week break, 10 days and yeah, and roll into the, um, the Christmas one, which would be so fun. I, I'm so excited about that. I always love, I always love these two mysteries. All right, let's take a look at the library quilt. <laughs> I, I worked on it. Uh, yesterday. I spent some time getting the whole bottom shelf done, but first I just want to show you sort of the thought process, but I did do a extra block. So first let's talk about that. I really wanted to have another image on the third row rather than just all books. And so I looked around and there are a lot of, you know, ones in the books that were six inch blocks. And I thought, you know, I really just like to find a freebie for you <laughs> so that if you want to, you don't own those other books where you can look through them and find piggy banks and cameras and, you know, jars and all kinds of cute stuff. Um, so I found this one on American Patchwork and Quilting Magazine's website and you can download this. They have it all written out, but there's actually a download button as well. Let me just pop an image up so you know what you're looking for. So when you go to the link that this image is what you're looking for. You want to find that to click the download because when you download that, you get a one page, let me get it in my hand here. You get a one page pattern and the one page pattern, uh, will make just this six inch finished coffee cup, um, block. So, and then remember the first row, I'm going to take this down. I'll move it rather. And then we'll look at the, look at the library quote. Remember the first row, I gave you a bonus of doing just the two blocks with a six inch block sitting on top of it. And so that's what I did here. I just used the same concept, but then I wanted to switch up the row a little bit because the bookshelf is very forgiving that you're able to do that. Uh, sort of switch things around. Let me grab the book because everything's on the other side of the table where I'm usually doing this. <laughs> All right. So here's the, the original. Uh, and so you can sort of move things from one side to the other. And I did a little video with the other camera. Let me show you that. So I'm at this point with the bottom. Let me sort of unpack what I did a bit. The pattern in the book has four books here and, uh, four books here then a wide and a little bit smaller. And then this was, of course, as books all the way up. But I decided I wanted to shove this all the way. I wanted to shove it to the right a little bit more so that I would have items on the bookshelf. But I didn't want these books directly over here. I also didn't want just one book or two books. I thought three books would balance it. So now I'm at the point where, you know, I really would like to just put one more book in here. So what I'm going to do is with this strip, in this strip. So I'm going to reduce the size down on both of them. I'm going to put another book in between here, between these guys. I'm going to move this one over and see if he stays up there. And I'm going to put a light, a lighter color 
book in here because basically these are the same print and I don't want the same print touching, no touching, no touching, don't touch me and then I will reduce down, so that has to be reduced down, it's a three and a half and so it has to be reduced down to one and a half if I did nothing else but if I want to reduce this one to the right down a little bit I can make this spacer a little bit bigger or I might just leave it hey it's already cut so what the heck so I might just leave it or I could flip them I could take the wider one over here and the skinnier one over here that's what I'm going to do that's what I'm going to do I'm going to make this one uh, it'll be a one and a half inch strip and it'll be on this side and I'll take that strip which I think is might be two and a half and put it on that side make one more book so I worked through that whole process because I just wanted to balance it a little bit different because of having the items on the shelf now uh, that just gave it, it'll put this over here just a little bit more but not all the way to the right so that's kind of how I work through that let's do it so this is the results of what I talked about I ended up switching the skinny one over here which they're not sewn so this is one section one section one section. so I got three parts right here three blocks but I just wanted to look at it with you before I sew it but I'm thinking this is it I like it I like it gives a good balance one two three on the bookshelves got two horizontals uh, yeah looks good sew it up so there is how I approached looking at that row. I'm going to put this back on there and shift the starlets over. I think that turned out really well. Shifting them around a bit. I mean, I wouldn't even mind like totally removing, uh, you know, having removed maybe this and made even another book and just had the one skinny thing there. Because like on this row, you see the books are right up against another book. I wouldn't mind that either. But I was done. I was at the point where I had thought through it enough and I thought that, that's good. That's good. I'm happy with it. Uh, I will do a head-on picture at my website today so that you can see it if you want to see it straight on again and take a look at it. You know, I've kind of auditioned the um, border over there on the side, so I've got the whole flow. I mean, I love the colors. I love it. This is a line by Deb Strain, and it's called Beautiful Day or something like that. Uh, it's linked. It's linked, but it has been so fun to work with this. I started with a layer cake and a few other pieces and then added in only a little bit of my own fabrics and then did the extra sort of salvages and things like that next week when I have the border on it for the finish <clears throat> I will do a close-up and kind of you know show you the, all the books the neat thing about these bookshelf quilts is that you can sort of deep dive and make them really really special and personal people do that often uh, somebody in the group did a lot of titles of her children's favorite books um, one was i think for her son graduating from college and she did the same thing kind of like through his whole period of time she kept track of kind of books that he liked and used titles for that on the books people put uh, photo images like on a frame on the bookshelves you know like there's a frame with the photo image of their family or a person uh, so there's, there's lots of ways when I designed this pattern for the holiday hoopla book I wanted to be sure that it was easy to do. Uh, I wanted something that was not so big. A lot of bookshelf quilts that you purchase, patterns you purchase, are quite large. Uh, but I wanted something more of a wall hanging size and that you can expand it. You can add, just add more books to make it wider and more shelves to make it longer. And so it is very expandable. They're very simple um, structurally, you know, not a lot of there's no tilted books or things like that. So I hope it, I hope you've had fun with it. And if you're working on yours, I hope that you get to the point so that next week you can also put your border on. Goals, goals. We need goals. <laughs> oh. All right, let's switch gears a little bit. And I have just some goodies that came in that I want to show you. And so I'm going to get those out. Okay, look at some, let's look at some goodies that I have. Uh, some fabric, yes, this fabric. Okay, so first I wanna show you uh, the, this is the So Colorful Bundles, and they are great because 
they give you a variety of one color. And this is a subscription, but then there's also extras that they often have so that you can just purchase them. Uh, and that's why I'm showing you ones that you can still purchase. Um, and they always have like dark, medium, light. I mean, it's as much as they can for whatever color it is. And this green, like it, this lets you have this great variety of the scale. Oh, mushrooms, I didn't know there were mushrooms in here. Look at that, oh. And then there's always a pattern, I mean a legend there. So like, I, there's the mushrooms. So you can go and just type that in to the Fat Quarter Shop and find, find that fabric if you want more of it. <gasps> I bet it comes in other colors. Oh, there's a snail on the mushroom. Do you see him? <gasps> okay. And then like, this looks like a bandana print. That's cool. That's cool. So I like the scale. I like that there's all different things, that it's not just sort of like small prints, that you get this great variety uh, and shades. Because like for me, I tend to have all these little sweet baskets, little teeny weeny baskets. If there was a blue one or a pink or a red one, it would go in my summer, in, in this, in this that I have cut, right? Look, it would go in there perfectly. So cool, cool. But it ha the, for me, I like green in particular. I tend to buy the same shade of green. And so sometimes I need a little bit of something else. And so this always lets me have it. So I'm going to definitely put these, refold these all and put them in my green bin so that I have them available. Oh, that's neat. Let this be fussy cutting, like cornerstones, like see your square, that would be so cool. There's like confetti and little, uh, X's, variety of sizes. Oh, that's neat. That's neat with the, with the um, cross hatch behind it. Okay, so this is the green one that I have linked. Uh, well, they're all linked, but this one is green uh, March 2023. And then let me just show you the black one because that's also, this is actually um, end of last year. So, but they still have a few. So if you're loving it, if you need some black, grab it because it's not going to be there long. So I like this sort of vintagey antique black. I think that's like a neat shade to have in your collection and add is tan. There's tan on black, which gives it such a different look than like, let me just show you, than white on black. See the difference? I mean, the white on black is very vibrant. The tan on black makes me feel it's like elegant. And there's a small scale version. Uh, same colorations, probably the same fabric line. Black and white, those lines are cool. Those are very cool. Little pluses, that's a great like texture, like a background texture. Super, little medallions. Here's one that has birds. It's a little tiny bird, so it's really more tone on tone. There's speckly with brown again, brown and gray. <gasps> Vibrant, whoo, look at that, holy cow. Free Spirit, that's a, a Halloween line, Scaredy Cat. Look at that. Some leaves. Oh, there's mine. There's my Promise Me. Look at that in this bundle. Isn't that cool? I didn't know it was in there. Like again, you have the legend, so you can go and you know look up anything from the line. Cool beans. Oh, that's mine too. <laughs> I had no idea. And the black and white. So I love that. Love, love, love black and white and a plaid, a nice vibrant plaid, very cool. Okay, the other thing I wanna show you is a kit because I am weak. <laughs> I am weak, I am weak. If there's a cute kit, I want it. Uh, so this I have, I can show you the, the, this kind of components so that you can buy just the Jolly Bar and have the pattern and the, and the fabric or you can buy the whole kit and, and background. So I'm gonna show you the whole deal. The whole deal, my friend, the whole deal, the whole nine yards. Okay, this is this is the Jolly Bar, which is called Harvest Moon. And here is the kit. Look at that, the, the pumpkins. Look at that, all the different sizes and they're easy piecing, strips and squares. Ah, yes, I'm making this, I am making this. So now you have an option. I'm gonna show you the fabric in there, but you have an option where you can buy the kit, which comes with the Jolly Bar, background, and binding. And then you can also buy the backing if you want a backing kit, so just the backing for it. 
So let me show you, let me just open up the Jolly Bar so that we can see the fabrics. And I love Joanna Figueroa's fabric. Uh, she's, her company name is Fig Tree Play on Figueroa. And let me just pull one of the plastics off here. Okay, we're just gonna cut it because sometimes they slip off, but I'm impatient. So I'm just going to, there we go. Release, release, release the fabric. Okay, pull it down a little bit. There we go. Now we can now we can see everything. But her uh, um, fall fabrics are just so beautiful. The Jolly Bar is half of a layer cake. It's a custom pre-cut from the Fat Quarter Shop. And so the line has this group of lights. That's a white on white, which is very pretty. There's some little leaves in this one. That's very pretty. Okay, let's get up close. Leaves. And then it's, you know, then there's variations with the orange and the black, which I really like, really like that combo. Uh, there, orange and gray. So it's, it is a fall line, but it does not like a Halloween line. Oh, gorgeous. See, if you want to put a border, wouldn't that be stunning? If it's still available, I hope so, I didn't look. Um, the stripes, then the little um, print with the crosshatch and then small print, look here. This is now the orange, same one with the gray flowers. This is a more open of that other bigger print. And so Jolly Bars is all the same um, pieces like you would find in a layer cake. And so because of the number of fabrics in the line, sometimes uh, you get duplicates, which is nice. So this is a pale, pale apricot color, gray and apricot. Isn't this gorgeous? <gasps> so good. And then here is the gray and orange. Now the kit has the black and orange. So you can see the difference. Kit has the black and orange, there's the gray. So the gray is just a little softer. And there's the gray pieces in here. I love it, this peach, orange, gray. <gasps> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, we get two of those. So to make, remember, oh, I have the back on here. What are we making? Remember, we're making pumpkins. We just stick that there, there you go. So you're making pumpkins, you can see. So now here's the black fabrics at the end. So they're grouped together, just, <gasps> look at that. I think it's used down here on that one, right? <gasps> so pretty, black, 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 yep. And there's the black and orange that comes with the kit for the binding. <gasps> oh, look at that. This would be a gorgeous border or backing as well. What else do we have? One more small print, ah. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that is Harvest Moon and you can get either just the layer cake and then use your own, uh, you know, background fabric and, um, you know, if you have a stash of that or you can go ahead and get the whole thing and the background. I gotta make these. So many cute things to make. Okay, just wrapping up, I'm gonna do a giveaway from we have one one of the items two of the items rather come from our ambassador kathy when she came down uh to visit the other day and bring me the gnomes she brought a gnome die for the accu quilt isn't that fun so you have to use accu quilt to have this you know so you, so when you win you're going to have to run it through an accu quilt but she also had this super cute little thimble that's going to go in the giveaway plus i'm adding in the, the queen decal, quilting queen decal. You can see it down here. And I have two weights of Orifil thread. The 50 is the green thread and the, the 12 weight, which is like pearl cotton, is the, the taupe thread and two charm packs, which will make you an oh my stars with some addition. So there you go. And these are fish, these are super cute, very summery. There's fish and butterflies and great prints in this from Violet Crafts Fabric Line. Okay, my friend, you're gonna go to my website and leave a comment there today. And I'll have it open until next Friday when I'll pull a winner for, we'll call it the gnome giveaway, right? <laughs> Thank you, Kathy, for bringing this down for a giveaway. All right, my friend, I love you. Mwah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Next video is Tuesday. So I have a couple of days where I'm not filming and I'm doing other things. So I will see you again on Tuesday. So I love you. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online. Mm -hmm.